Good afternoon, everybody. So for some time, I've been trying to figure out what do I want to do with my old 12 volt system? Uh, I thought about, well, I could sell it to help cover some of the costs for, you know, <laughs> all this. But then I started thinking, well, why not make my own portable power station out of a 12 volt system? So that's what I'm planning on doing. So let's go through some of the parts and pieces that I've picked up in order to start this build and let's get started. So like I said, these these batteries have been sitting on this shelf here. You know, I've got a 200 amp hour battery right on this shelf and a 280 amp hour battery on this shelf. And I've been trying to figure out, all right, they've been sitting here for a while. What do I want to do with them? And I've had some people ask if I was going to try and sell them. And, and I happened to come across several videos of people just kind of building their own power station. And I thought, well, that's a that's a great idea because I've already got all the equipment. I just have to figure out how am I going to put it into one unit. All right, so I just wanted to kind of lay out the basic pieces of what I'm starting this build with. Obviously, the toolbox, which I'll go into a little more details here in, in a couple of minutes. But I've got my old 2200 watt 12 volt inverter. I've got a Victron MPPT 15035. I picked up uh, this this Hall effect sensor meter, which I'm going to try and use to control a relay instead of putting a fuse in this time. Just kind of want to see how it works. Um, this is a 200 amp 12 volt relay, which will be controlled by that. Uh, I grabbed some extra bus bars that I had. For cooling, I did pick up a few 1600 RPM, 25 millimeter fans to go into the side of the case, some screens for it. To control the fans, I have this temperature sensor, which I'll mount on the top of the box. And then for AC output, I have the two outlet, three USB, the furniture power grommets, really, they're, they're round grommets that will go into the front of the case. I picked up two of those. They're, uh, the AC is 12 amp piece. And then the USB, it's 3.0, I believe, and USB-C. And then whether or not I can make it work right, the uh, 12 volt smart charger, I'll try and put in there as well. If nothing else, I will connect a quick disconnect to the bus bars that this 12 volt charger can plug into in the event that I need that external AC power to recharge the batteries. But I really want to have a uh, solar capability that if nothing else, I could even daisy chain off of my 48 volt system come into here to charge up the unit. But these are, these are the basic pieces that I'm starting with. Obviously I'm going to have cabling and all that kind of stuff but I just kind of wanted to lay out some of the main components. The one thing that you don't see on this table is the batteries. I just didn't want to move those all over the place, but I've got the uh, 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate cells with the 200 amp JK BMS. And I ended up going with this, this rigid toolbox. It was a couple different reasons. One, the build quality on this is, is very robust. It's very thick, hard plastic, nice and deep open space, plenty of room, uh, very hard latches that seal nice and tight, uh, sturdy handle. And the big thing is, you know, it's it's got wheels. Now, this this whole cart assembly actually does come off of the back, so it can just be a static toolbox. But one other thing that I was looking for is I wanted to be able to stack another case on top of this 
and have it locked down to the main unit. So I haven't pulled this tag off yet, but you can see in, if I can get rid of the glare, in this picture, so they've got other sizes of uh, cases that can hook on top. And so that was one thing that I was looking at because I wanna start with the 280 amp hour pack and build that into this main case. But then in the future, I wanna put the 208, the, excuse me, I wanna put the 200 amp hour pack into another toolbox that sits on top and locks in from the top. And then maybe I'll have Anderson connectors jumping, jumpering out and, and have a, a jack or something in the side to connect the top battery bank to the main unit. So that's why I ended up going with this, this toolbox. Uh, like I said, lots of room until I start trying to put stuff in it more than likely. <laughs> but I'm thinking put my AC here and here, put my meter and my inverter controls up here on the top. And then f the fans, I specifically looked for fans that would fit right inside this recessed area. So I'll put a fan on each side to help keep this entire box cool. And you know, that's kind of where I'm, where my mind is going at least. I'm hoping that I can get everything in here. I think the fun part's gonna be just trying to figure out exactly where and, and what the layout is uh, that I'm going to end up using. Uh, let's see here, here's the specifications. If you're interested in knowing what the actual dimensions are, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to start this build. I'm probably gonna end up recording the footage similar to how I did with my inverter build, just because I want it for, for documentation purposes. So it might be a little more detailed than some of you might like. Uh, <laughs> that's what the fast forward button's for. I guess I'm just going to kind of leave this one here right now. Uh, I really just wanted to kind of wet your whistle, I guess, on what's going to be coming up, what I'm going to be trying to, to do with this build. Uh, I'm excited. It's going to be nice to be able to have this, this portable power that I could take out back if I needed power in places where, you know, I really don't have it right now. So if this is something that interests you, you know, stay tuned because it's probably going to be a handful of videos just trying to, to combine everything figure out the proper layouts, test some things, make sure it all works, and, and hopefully uh, come up with a fully functional power station. So with that, I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, and we'll catch up with you later.